recording. Okay. What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and you know what, I have i didn't really wanna do this video. I wanted this entire project to be nothing but a surprise, not for you guys so much as for Terry Crews. But then I realized he's super busy. He's not gonna watch anyway, so this will still be a surprise to him. Don't, don't go and tag him or anything on Twitter. Anyway, also too, this is Coconut Monkey's first video that he's actually recording, so if it sucks, blame him. Thanks. Okay, so part one here, we're gonna talk about the components. It's usually when I do, when I do build logs, we're talking about some of the parts that are going in here, then I'm gonna reveal the chassis and the chassis will be getting modded. Uh, I actually teamed up with GeForce Garage on doing some of the mods on that. So they'll be a part of the series a little bit later on. They'll also be a part of the delivery, but we'll talk about that. Now, everything you see here is sponsored, so thank you to the companies that sent this stuff out. So anyway, we got the X99E 10G workstation motherboard here from Asus. Thank you for sending that over. This to me was two things. One, reliability. This is a very robust motherboard. It can handle a lot of stuff. Terry Crews is building a system here for live streaming, but he's a huge gamer and a live streamer, so I wanted to build him a system that was powerful enough for him to not have to rely on any sort of external capture card, but could do everything internally here on the system. So this, this motherboard, being as powerful it is, as flexible it is, and as reliable as it is, was first and foremost. I want a reliable system for him. It also looks really nice with the aesthetic. Remember, we are doing an Old Spice theme here, which, is, which was very difficult for me to figure out how to tie Old Spice into a computer build. That's weird, I mean, this is weird. How, how do you tie in body spray and deodorants into a computer build? But that's what he wanted and I think, we, I think we've got this. You're not gonna see the theme today. This silver here is also gonna play very well with the aesthetic. If you, if you look up the Bear Glove scent, that's Terry Crews' favorite scent. It's the one he promoted the most. It's got a red, silver, and blue theme to the, the whole package of what Bear Glove is. So that should give you a little insight on what that's gonna be. But anyway, yeah, so this motherboard right here is, I, I think was a simple go-to on reliability. So what's gonna go in there? Clearly we have got a 6950X from Intel. Again, sponsored by Intel. Thank you very much for sending that over. I've been using this in my workstation, rock solid, overclocks well. You've got 20 threads of processing power, which is gonna be awesome for his gaming and live stream and coding all happening at the same time. Some folks might've been like, why don't you go with a Xeon? Honestly, because I, this is just better, I guess. No, to be fair, this is all about overclocking right here. It's an extreme CPU. He's an extreme guy. I wanted to kind of go with the best of the best with the X99 platform, and this is what it is right here. So we will be overclocking that, of course. Graphics cards, move on to graphics cards first. He has two GTX 1080s in the system that he built on Facebook. I don't think anyone's surprised about that. He put one in there and then he was super excited. He ended up putting two in there. So I told him, I said, you know what? We're gonna have to step it up. So we've got two Titan X's here, of course, sent over by Nvidia. You guys can see there's a very pricey theme going on here. Thank you guys for sponsoring that. Here they, I would say here they are. I never even opened these. Do you have a knife? Somewhere, oh, right there. Uh, ah, yes. So I've had these for a while now and I never even opened these. So let's do this right now. Let's go ahead and do the yeah, we'll call it the Maiden Unboxing, if you will. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you would think I would have opened these by now, right? And taken a look at them? No. I don't, uh, yeah. They weren't mine, so it wasn't like I was like super excited about it. But then again, it's not like I could do four-way SLI unless I wanted to hack stuff. But anyway, here we go. La la la, it's probably gonna be a bag, yep. There they are, two GTX Titan X Pascals. We will, of course, be ripping off these coolers. <coughs> Things in there tight. We will be taking these coolers off because you know how I roll. What, what am I gonna do, Nick? Cool it. I don't know if it, it yeah. Say that again. I don't know if it picked you up over the crinkling. Cool it with liquid. Yes. They look really good on their own. But of course they just don't, they just don't meet our aesthetic. There they are. Water-cooled GTX Titan X is incoming. I'll just put that away before I end up damaging something. How did I go in there? A few moments later. Really? No. You know what the problem is? I've never put one of these back in the box. <laughs> Usually I don't open them. Oh. <laughs> Moving on. Here is some Dominator Platinum Special Edition RAM sent over by, oh, I already opened that. Sent over by Corsair. It's very, very pretty. 
It's the same exact RAM that we have sitting inside Skunkworks right now. There it is, we got four sticks, obviously because we're on X99, we want that quad channel goodness, but let me tell you what is unique about this. You guys know that these are special edition numbered uh, sticks of RAM. So they sent over a number 94 of 500. Well, why is that significant? Well, the very first NFL team that Terry Crews played for was the LA Rams, and his number was 94. So Corsair, so Corsair sent over RAM number 94. I think, I think that's pretty neat and unique if you ask me. Little things like that are what's making this build just fun for me. Now, obviously we have a lot of water cooling stuff we need to put in here. I don't have any of that coming yet, but before we could talk about water cooling stuff, you kind of have to know what it's going in, right? Okay, this is, this is gonna be good. The reason why this project has taken so long to get going was because we could not, or at least I, could not come up with the right chassis. The chassis is everything. And like I said, it was very difficult to come up with something for Terry Crews because although Old Spice is fun and it's, it's, it's all about power and yelling and screaming and stuff, I've been to his place. You've seen the video. It's in a high rise. It's got glass everywhere. It's elegant. The interior design is very well thought out. You don't just take some janky PC case, throw everything in there, call it Old Spice and send it off to the guy. You have to think about the room that it's going in. And when we went to CES, we took a look at a case there that I thought was perfect for this build. This, my friends, is the Inwin Tau 2.0. This is the chassis. Everything about this chassis just screams Terry Crews to me. The design, the curve, the elegance to it, but yet the customization abilities. We have a 360 rad that can go on the top, a 360 rad that can go in the front. So we've got this mirrored glass that when the case is turned off, it blacks out so you can't see inside. It's got integrated lighting in here. Unfortunately, it kind of came unstuck. It's a very textured powder coat. We'll be taking care of that. But you can see it's just, I love everything about it. Get in here and look closely at this because it's wide open, plenty of room for water cooling. These trays come out, 360 in the front. I can put what I want in there. I can also rear mount uh, particular hard drives and stuff if I want to, if I want to get rid of this. SSDs can go on the floor of it. We're getting custom cables made for this. I'm toying with the idea right now of tearing apart the chassis and getting it all powder coated red because like I said, the red theme with Old Spice, custom stuff happening with the glass and in, uh, in NVIDIA Garage will show you guys that at the end. This, this was it. I saw this and I had to have it. So I reached out to Inwin and I said, guys, you need to get me this case. This is not a request. At the risk of sounding arrogant, this was a demand. Terry Crews would love it. He hasn't seen this by the way. I hope he's not watching. Yeah, they sent it over. That's why we have number three of the limited edition 500 run on this. And the other two were show builds. So technically it's the first one. I don't know yet if I'm gonna do an actual build log where I show it all going together. I'll probably record it as I'm doing it and then make a montage of that during the delivery video so it all kind of ties in. I've even got some other YouTubers helping me out on the creation of that video. We've got a lot going into this. This is a huge undertaking in my opinion. It's the biggest thing to kind of happen to PC gaming in a long time, bridging something like YouTube, A-list celebrity, tying it all together, making him feel welcome to the community, which was the whole point with this build. I offered to do it for him, not for personal gain or getting to know a celebrity, but because I wanted to welcome into the PC community was something that only he had. I know some people might be disappointed that we weren't doing like an AMD Ryzen uh, build, but we had to get this going right away. Who knows what the performance is gonna be on that. Time will tell. I'll be doing some custom AMD Ryzen stuff, so don't you worry your pretty little faces about that. <sighs> Every time I look at this, I just get chills. You know what? This is. This is so pretty, I think I'm gonna keep it for myself. Terry Crews, you're on your own, man. But you know, if he wants to fight me for it, then I'm fucked. All right guys, see you in the next one.